Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's me. <laughs> Before I get started, I just want to say I thank everybody for subscribing and watching and liking and leaving comments and stuff. So if you enjoy this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, uh, share it with somebody that you think might like it, uh, or people you know who like FPS content. I'm trying hard to build my community. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 6. I was gifted it today by a friend, so I decided that I would make a video because obviously, you know, somebody spent money. You know, you want to put time into it because I didn't, I didn't play the beta. Uh, I just assumed I wouldn't get the game personally. Uh, it didn't really look like much to me, but that's my own opinion, I guess. But uh, so far, it's it's okay. Uh, the movement is a lot less than I thought it would be to get used to. It, it feels relatively fluid. There's some good things to say about the game. I think that the gun selection is fun. I think the movement works well. I thought it was going to be crazy with all these, like, diving in different directions and stuff, but people don't really do that, at least not yet. The sniping is pretty fun, and I just really kind of enjoy running around. I, Call of Duty always had a very specific type of gunplay, and it hasn't changed since COD came out, really. They had different mechanics here and there, yada yada, but for the most part, it, it's relatively the same as it's always been. So, I, I think that's a, a pretty big plus for them. The map design does leave a lot to be desired. I don't think it's great. Uh, most of the maps have really poor design. While I do hand it to them that they've gone and finally made some new maps, it's hard to say that those new maps are very good. It reminds me a lot of uh, Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 2042 where they made all these maps and they're like, oh, people are going to love these, but then it was just a big map with nothing, really, or the playable area was actually much smaller than the map itself. With this, it just feels like there's just always somebody behind you, and yeah, that's kind of COD and the spawns and whatever, but it feels much, much worse in this game. So I, I think that as time goes on, hopefully they can optimize the maps a little bit better and have things work more like Call of Duty typically does but that's a uh, you know like just one of the complaints really uh, the second thing that I kind of wanted to talk about was that the time to kill and time to death math does not make sense it's really really bad in this game I've put a few of the most egregious examples of it happening but you get like 10 15 20 hit markers on somebody and they just don't die but then they kill you and much less with a less powerful gun than you're using and honestly like it, it's it's obvious it's obvious that there's an issue there to me the few people that I know who have played it and I've talked to also said the same thing it, it just doesn't make any sense if you're getting hit markers then where are your bullets going and yeah sometimes you can say oh well they were behind something there was a wall there or they were head glitching so you were hitting the thing in front of them or whatever but when you hit marker somebody 15 times they should just not be alive anymore like it just it really doesn't make sense and there are the examples that i'm putting in are the times where i really really thought to myself like what the actual fuck how is that guy still alive i understand that attachments and other things play a role into that and what gun you're using but if all of your guns aren't viable then that's a bad game design in my opinion like if if it's gonna turn into the same thing that it was with MW 2019 where it was like okay just use the M4 and the MP5 because nothing else really works as well. That's bad game design. I don't want to get stuck into another game where it's just okay everybody's just gonna use this or use that so from my perspective I think that there are definitely things that they need to tune but considering that it's only been out for a couple of days I mean that that makes sense you know it's not something that I look at and think to myself like oh okay well they're you know this has been out for a year and they're still fucking up I, I just think that it's good to recognize when there are things that need to be changed that being said I do enjoy the sniping as I mentioned before it's a lot of fun uh, it took a minute to get used to, but for the most part, I find it to be pretty on par with most of Call of Duty sniping. There are a few times where you kind of hit marker somebody, like, in the chest or higher, and that's a little weird, especially with a sniper rifle, but... Other than that, like, most of the time, I feel like my shots are going where I'm shooting, uh, whether it's, it's a hit or a miss, you know, like, I feel like, okay, well, if I miss, I'm like, okay, well, I was aimed at that area, so that makes sense. Uh, if I hit, then I'm like, yeah, you know, I was very confidently aimed on that person, so it, it works pretty well, I think. Um, the starting sniper rifle is the op, which is kind of weird, the Arctic Warfare. 
it's not typical that I see that being one of the first snipers that you use, considering that it's a pretty powerful gun in general, but it, it's, uh, it's a fun gun to use. I don't really like the 8x, but trying the 1 to 4x is, it's just a hollow sight with a magnifier on it, and it just doesn't really work that well for me so i changed and put the 8x back on until i unlock something else it's it's pretty fun i, I enjoy the sniping running around uh the ads speed is a little slow but i don't have anything unlocked for the sniper yet really so i am trying to level that up but that is a little bit slow going unfortunately uh the m4 performs uh, typically how you would think an M4 would perform. The other guns that I've used, the MP5, and then I used uh, the AK-74U, which it's not what it's called in this game, but you know which one I'm talking about. That They all perform how you would expect them to perform in their class. Uh, however, as I said, some guns do seem to just do more for some reason. Uh, we're headed into another time where it's very obvious that SMGs are going to overpower the rifles again as they keep doing and I don't really understand why. Uh, close range it makes sense but when you're cross mapping somebody you should not be getting four shot by an SMG and dying when you have an AR. But we'll see if they can kind of get that under control a little bit. I, I, I'm hopeful but it's it's hard to hold hope on kind of companies like Activision and DICE and all those big companies anymore because they very clearly don't really listen to their communities and I'm just one person who has 200 subscribers on YouTube like who cares. But I don't think it's all bad. I think that they are doing a good job and I think graphically the game looks nice. I have everything on very low. Uh, for some reason, I have a 2080 Ti 7700X and I was getting like 40 frames per second on their auto whatever. So I tuned things down, put it down to low. Uh, and that bumped me up to like getting barely over 60 like it was like 57 to 62 that I was getting and then at finally when I put everything on very low and, and turned on NVIDIA DLSS which is I forget what it stands for but you know what it is then suddenly I'm getting a hundred and some odd frames here and there or like above 90 most of the time so it's like it's a little weird but graphically it does look nice even at very low settings. I think that the sensitivity settings are pretty on par with the rest of the COD games. Like I had to tune mine a little bit because uh, it felt a little too fast, but once I tuned it, it was fine. I felt like I had decent control. There wasn't a whole, like any input lag or anything like that. I felt good with what I was doing. The movement, uh, as I said, it isn't as hard to get used to as I thought it would, but it is a little weird uh, when I go to like lay down prone and my guy like you know jumps backwards like dolphin dives backwards <laughs> like i'm not expecting that because i'm holding a movement key or something you know but uh other than that like overall i, I think it's a pretty decent game it doesn't feel like it's worth 70 dollars but uh if you know like the christmas sale and stuff like for sure i think it's you know something that people will enjoy i also think that it's probably the fact that i am older I'm 33 years old, so my time for shooters is probably more stuck in like 2007 with COD 4, where things were a lot simpler, and I think that the newer games that are coming out really, really cater to the newer generations, which is understandable. I don't think that's a bad thing. So I think for me, some of the things that I find to be annoying, people really enjoy because that's just kind of the natural progression of shooters right now is they're trying new things and doing things that are um, unorthodox I guess and so it makes sense to me that for somebody who is around my age to have some issue with some of the things that they're doing because you know the games I grew up playing were you know COD 2 or COD 1, COD 4, uh, I stopped with COD after that but you know a Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3, you know like stuff like that so it was like you get used to a very simple way of games and then they add all these different things and I'm just I'm just getting older so it's like I kind of think that while I'm not like old old I think that it's becoming more obvious to me the things that are made for the next generation of gaming people than it is for uh, people my age you know so anyway that's really about it that's all I really have to say right now I'll, I'll be making more content about this uh shorts and yada yada but that's really I don't have a whole lot to say about the game it's fun I've somewhat enjoyed most of my time
time in it. And I think that there could be some changes, but again, this game is like brand new, so I'm hoping that the updates will address some of the issues that I see. And, you know, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, I appreciate if you watched, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.